What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we have another pickups video. Very excited to showcase these items to you guys. Before I get into this video, you guys know the drill. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I drop videos very frequently in relation to men's fashion, etc. So if you guys are into that, make sure to hit that button below. Also, follow me on my Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E, -E, is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. Fit pics, this and that. So let's get into this video. This is mainly going to consist of vintage items, the best vintage that Toronto has to offer. Now, that's my personal opinion. I do not live in Toronto. This is what I acquired while I was out there a couple weeks ago for the holiday season. I normally frequent the vintage shops out there because I personally find that they have some of the best to offer that I've seen when I'm in Canada. I've only really been to Toronto, Ottawa, and Montreal for the most part. I haven't been to Vancouver, but in my personal opinion, they have some of the best curated vintage stores, period. Uh, that I've seen. That being said, I haven't really dabbled into like LA and too much into Montreal so far, but we're gonna give a good variety with this pickups. But the first piece isn't even from Toronto. I'm gonna get into something from the boy Dwip Dealer. He hooked it up with this cardigan. I got this a while back. I just hadn't gotten a chance to showcase it in a video, but now I get a chance to. It is this navy Lacoste cardigan. Oh my God, you guys know I'm in love with these cardigans. This is a different fit for me. This is a size medium. Normally I get large or XL in these cardigans. So it's a different fit, more slender, more sleek on the boy. But uh, if you give this a little roll up on the wrist, and if you just keep it open, it's already a flowy item, so you don't really need it too oversized, especially if it's like a preppier piece like this, then I don't really mind it being too like form fitting on me. And I'm starting to fit a lot of mediums now. I don't know if I'm losing weight or if it's the pieces I'm buying, but uh, it's working for the boys. So who knows, who knows? Maybe I could fit into some more mediums. Nonetheless, shout out to Dope Dealer. If you guys are interested into vintage pieces and you're in Montreal or even internationally, I know he ships sometimes, but if you DM him, I'm sure he could work out something for you. He has a good selection and he's local and he supports me, I support him back. So go follow the boy, check him out. I'm sure he got some good do it for you. On to the next one. This is starting to get into the stuff that I got from Toronto. So let's get into it. This first piece, I went in with the fam to this store called Black Market. I had touched on it in the video prior to this one, and some people were wanting a little bit more information on Black Market. I have ta uh, talked about it in a lot of videos, actually. It's one of my favorite stores in Toronto just because it's a base price for a lot of the pieces. I think they vary between eight to $10 for each item, and that's no matter what it is. It's, it could be a jacket, it could be denim, t-shirts, whatever it may be, and they normally just have steals, and you could find a lot of gems, and. For it being Toronto, there's a lot of people already, and the fact that you're, I'm able to find things on a consistent basis every time I go, it just says a lot for the selection because if there's that many people picking over this stuff and there's still things for me to find, then that just means that they got some heat in there. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely go check it out. I'll have it in the link below and maybe on the side somewhere so that you guys know what I'm talking about. Black Market, Toronto, they have two locations. Found this at the second one, so let's get into it. So this gray, what looks like almost like a flight jacket, it has a faux suede, but the texture is beautiful nonetheless, made in Italy. Honestly, not gonna lie, when I first touched it, it felt a little cheap for a made in Italy garment. I know that those two things together kind of make the notion that it's supposed to be a quality garment. And that isn't always the case, obviously, that. We have it brainwashed into our head that like, oh, designer made in Italy, it has to be amazing. But honestly, this is not the best constructed garment I've ever bought in my life, but the fit is beautiful. Like it's really, really nice. It fits me so amazing. And also the lining is just very unique. You can't really find stuff like this currently in stores. So I decided to pick it up because it's just, it was very unique to me. So I didn't really mind the lack of quality thereof in like the way it feels because it just I guess it's just lacking weight more so the way the faux suede feels it feels good but I guess it's just laugh lacking the heft that I was expecting with a piece like this so that's about all I could say about it and uh, just a nice light jacket that you could pair up with a lot of outfits 
So on to the next. This I found thrifting at Value Village. Just a cool Fruit of the Loom classic crew neck. I d what was the age on this? I think this was from the 90s, if I was correct on the tag. Made in USA Fruit of the Loom, which is not frequent. They don't do that anymore. But it's just a cool like salamander graphic, nothing too crazy. Um, I don't think I'll get a ton of wear out of this, but maybe for like a picture or something, it could be interesting. And I don't really wear crew necks all too often. So it was cool. Something light for like four bucks or something like that. Didn't think too much of it because it was just $4 and I could probably wear it once and then flip it on my deep pop. Shameless plug, follow me. I'll have it in the description below. You guys know what's going on. So yeah, probably get a picture in that and then let someone else have it if they like it. Continuing on back into black market because black market has the gems. Megs, my girlfriend actually found this one. So shout out to her. I kind of like she said it was hers, but I'm kind of stealing it. I'm not going to lie. When I first seen it, I was kind of discouraged because I wasn't finding much in the store and I was just kind of blinded. I, I, I had to pee. I, I was discouraged. I wasn't finding anything. So I, my head was not in the space to shop. And she showed me this and I didn't even give a big reaction at first. And then I started looking at it more. I was like, actually, that's like a sick graphic, nice font single stitch, everything that a lot of people look for in vintage cheese. So I don't even know what I was thinking at the time. I was just so out of it. But anyway, mountain biking is life is what it says on it. So pretty cool. Just like a sportswear tee, um, single stitch that all you vintage, vintage hoes love, you know, the good single stitch. Oh my God. Wow. 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 Kyan, you're so vintage. Wow, but yeah, a lore blank if that does anything to you. I just love the wash and it's not like a typical color. I actually like this color, kind of like that dusted eggplant that I was talking about not too long ago with the new regime jacket and also the Kara pants that I picked up in the video previous to this one. So yeah, I'm really digging that color. I think it just looks cool on my skin tone, although it is pretty similar, just in a different undertone. But yeah, I do like it. All right, so this next piece I actually got at Black Market. Once again, the second location. The last tee was at the first location of Black Market. But yes, this is from the second one, like I said just before. And it kind of gave me like a capital vibe for some reason. Not a typical piece that I would get, but this looked like kind of like an affordable alternative to a capital piece. Reminded me of like the surf hoodies. That, that was like the first piece of capital that I remember even seeing online. And it kind of just gave me that, that vibe. So yeah, that's what I get from this. I think this is made in Canada. And just like a very unique garment. It's like cross between a hoodie and a crew neck and a mock neck with an open neck. I don't really know what to call this. If you guys do know the name, the proper terminology, definitely let me know in the comments below. But I just loved how boxy it was. Teal, not a color that I normally get in my wardrobe. And then also I said, it's kind of similar to a capital piece that I had seen from before. So I said, why not pick it up? I think it was like $8 or something like that. Teen, eight and $12. I think that's what I paid for this. So really cool fit. I think this is a large. So yeah. Getting into the last two t-shirts of the video. Both of these are sick, but like the, the last one is my favorite, but we'll, we'll get into this one first. Poser warning, poser warning. I do not, like I don't dabble too much into wrestling like I once did when I was a kid, but I do enjoy this graphic. I'm just letting you guys know. New World Order, cut off sleeve. Am I jumping off the top rope? Probably not. But am I flexing in this shirt? Yes, indefinitely. Maybe people weren't brave enough to wear a cutoff sleeve shirt, and that's why this wasn't picked up. But this is from 2002, and I just know people really love these shirts. Like, I always see them go for a pretty penny. So maybe it was a cutoff sleeve that was uh, deterring people away from this. But that, the crackling on this piece is like insane. Really, really cool. I just love the graphic and cut off sleeve, not something I fully get behind, but maybe if I pull the guns out, start working out, you know, I mean, maybe, it, maybe it'll look nice on me. Who knows? It's a little long for my liking. I think this is a large, um, but if you do like a half tuck and a pair of like skinny jeans, maybe it could look fire in the summer or something like that with my Celine shades. Ooh. Fire. Next up, uh, oh my God, I almost started a fire. <laughs> oh my God. Next tee is my favorite t-shirt from this whole haul. And I actually found this on my way out of Black Market. Like I was leaving and I seen it on the end of a rack. Th this is the thing with Black Market. Every time I go, I'm like, why has no one picked this up yet? 
but maybe people are just finding things that are even better than what I find. And then my head's just, my head just starts to spin and I'm like, how? I'm just like, how? Like maybe I'm just drooling over nothing. One man's trash is another man's treasure, I guess. And that's probably the case with this shirt. I just love, 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 love the wear on this. Cheaper by the dozen. I thought it was from the movie because it has like a similar font, but I don't think it is because of what's on the back. But the distressing on the neck and just how beautifully this has aged and turned into like a charcoal black or like a faded washed out black. That's just like my favorite type of t-shirt and it's just perfectly boxy on me. It's like the right fit. Yeah, I just love this t-shirt. It definitely has to be washed a bit more just so that like it could get some of the stains out that it came with. Like I washed it maybe two times and it still hasn't come out yet, but hopefully it will because it looks like something that would be able to. It's not like a bleach stain or anything. So hopefully it does. And this is gonna be like one of the main shirts in my rotation alongside that TLC one. That's my favorite vintage shirt. I'm trying to get like a solid five black vintage t-shirts that are just my favorite and then also a solid five white. And then that'll be like my only t-shirts that I'll wear. I'll wear them inside out, wear the graphics, and then that'll be solid for me. This is my number two though, for sure. Love this shirt. Now on to footwear. I got I got mainly uppers in this video and that's just because I did a full video on bottoms. If you guys haven't seen that yet, definitely go check it out. I'll leave it as a card on the screen somewhere around here. But yeah, getting into the only footwear of this video. Got this thrifting at Tilly's, I think is the name of the thrift store. That was in Brampton. We went in on a whim. I got lucky and I found some cowboy boots. Something that I didn't know if I was gonna get because honestly, at this point in time, I kind of felt like cowboy boots were a bit gimmicky because of the whole like Lil Nas X thing and I wasn't sure if I wanted to dabble into that and it could look kind of cringy if you don't know how to style it, but I have seen it styled in a very nice way and I think I'm able to put my own interpretation on it and they fit me, they're a bit tight of a squeeze in the front because the toe is so narrow. Could be really cool. And I just love the wear on that leather. It's just like very natural and old. I got lucky with these. I think these are 20 bucks. Just a really cool pair. I don't think there's an actual size on them, but yeah, they fit me true. If you guys are interested in cowboy boots, just check your vintage stores and thrift stores. Don't really know where you can find one specifically, but if you guys scour the internet and things local to you, I'm sure you'll be able to find one. That's just something I wanted to test out. So we'll see it in the future. Maybe I'll do like a how to style cowboy boots video or something. That's not so cringy and Lil Nas X-ish. Not hating on that boy, but can't be out here looking like a goofy, my personal opinion. No shit. So on to the last final grail of the video. This I got extremely lucky. I didn't get it. I, I really honestly forget the name of this vintage store and I'm not trying to hide it. Trust me, I swear. <laughs> I just don't remember the name, but it's around the area of Exile, Toronto. So if you guys remember the name, uh, put it in the comments below. If you walk around Kensington, you'll find a whole bunch of vintage shops and I stumbled into this one and I found an insane jacket, Dolce & Gabbana. It was a bit pricey, so I was unsure if I should spend the money. I think it was like, a, like over a hundred. It was definitely like one something. So they knew what they were selling, but I just wasn't sure if I wanted to drop that price. I ended up just pulling the trigger. I was like, it fits me way too nice for me to just not get it. And I did my research and it's like authentic and everything. So I was more than happy to take it home with me. Made in Italy, Dolce & Gabbana. It's my first piece from Dolce and it just fits like a glove. It's honestly, insane how well this fits my body short in the torso like i enjoy always and ex extremely long in the sleeves and they kind of just flare out it's that exact fit that i love for like a, a denim trucker jacket i think what i love about this is that it reminds me of the animal in easter what coat what's the name of that coat i'm gonna have it on the screen i'm blanking on the name but there's an animal in easter coat that I just love so much and I think I've seen uh, Francis he works for Silver League he got a he got one of the coats and it, it made me 
like it even more when I seen it on him because it just fits him like a glove and that's what this reminds me of but it's just a denim jacket variation of it obviously not the same thing but similar vibes that I get so yeah really enjoy this I'll leave uh, Francis's Instagram on the screen somewhere hopefully he's wearing it or if not then go follow that guy you know he's he's fly so all oh, everyone at SL is fly you know you know that already you know that thank you guys for watching Hopefully that wasn't too long of a video. Really appreciate you guys stopping by the channel once again. My name is Kyron. You guys can follow me on my Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E. -E. That's where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. Fit pics, everything, daily updates, life updates, all of that is on there. Make sure to leave a like on this video. It helps out a ton. And subscribe to the boy if you haven't already. I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Hopefully, I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.